If you want to go off-roading, take any SUV. But if you want to come back from that adventure, take a Japanese one. The modified Australian saying is still relevant today, since modern models that come out of the Japan's car factories hold up the reliability standards and possess some hardcore all-terrain capabilities. In this episode of Automotive Territory Daily News, we would like to cover the newest 2022 models within this class and describe their off-road potential. So subscribe to the channel and let's start the engines! Lexus LX600 Just like the Land Cruiser 300 before it, the new trendsetter for the Lexus Luxury moves on to the 20% more rigid and 441 pounds lighter GF platform. The gas Gosling V8 is abandoned in favor of a just as powerful 3.5-liter twin turbo V6 that is controlled via 10-speed direct shift automatic. The new mill makes 409 horsepower and the maximum of 479 pound-feet of torque in the wide range of up to 3600 rpm. The Lexus LX600 gets active height control and adaptive variable suspension, a rear torsion limited slip diff, multi-train select, 22-inch forged aluminum wheels, as well as crawl and hill assist features. For the first time, the model will be sold in five trims, standard, premium, luxury, F-sport and ultra-luxury. The latter allows to traverse marshes and deserts and a four-seat configuration with 43 inches of rear VAP lacrum, 25-speaker Mark Levinson surround system, 19.3 inches of screen access and genuine leather interiors. Mazda CX-50 Slightly bigger than the current CX-5, this US-exclusive Mazda will be the first model to be assembled at the company's joint Toyota plant in Alabama. The crossover boasts the familiar design, plenty of black plastic cladding around the lower perimeter, and a bolter front end with the extended grill tips and modern-looking headlights. The CX-50 has higher ground clearance than its platform siblings, all-wheel drive is standard from the get-go, while various outdoor accessories like a set of off-road tires are offered as factory options. Under the hood, this SUV houses a 2.5-liter mill. Either the base and line 4 with 187 horsepower and 186 pound-feet, or the Turbo 4 that makes 250 ponies and 320 pound-feet. Suzuki S-Cross After eight years in the market, the Suzuki crossover transitions into a new generation, losing the SX4 prefix in the process. The soft rotor gets far more assertive styling. Its raised bonnet perfectly complements a larger piano black grille with a honeycomb mesh pattern. Plus, between the headlamps, there is a thick chrome band. The latter also features modern triple-beam LED units, which give the S-Cross an original glare. Other styling highlights include chunky wheel arches, side plastic cladding, and faux skid plates. The power comes from the Suzuki's 1.4-liter turbo engine, backed by a 48-volt mild hybrid system. The setup peaks at 127 horsepower and 173 pound-feet, offers six-speed manual or automatic gearbox options, and gets available all grip for wheel drive. Even the base trim comes with a 7-inch display, heated seats, and dual-zone climate while the Ultra models upgrade to the 9-inch infotainment, leather seats and a panoramic sunroof. Honda Passport Trail Sport This mid-size Honda SUV arrives with a rather noticeable facelift in 2022. However, the biggest piece of news is the addition of a new off-road-focused trail sport model. The trim gets a more aggressive grille, a new bulging hood and reshaped bumpers. There are also Trailsport exclusive 18-inch wheels wrapped into special sidewall treaded tires. Both front and rear track are whitened by 0.4 inches for increased stability. Just as the rest of the range, this Passport is powered by a trustworthy 3.5-liter V6. The engine makes 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque and comes paired to the all-wheel drive as standard. Once you step inside the cabin, the trail sport difference is marked by leather-trimmed seats, orange contrast stitching, unique embroidery, and amber ambient lighting. 
In 2022, the Trail Sport moniker also makes it to the Pilot SUV. It gets a 0.6-inch suspension lift, new 18-inch wheels, and more rugged tires. Do you agree that the Japanese SUVs are the best mass-produced off-roaders? Like this video if you do, and let's keep rolling! Subaru Forester Wilderness Subaru's new off-road wilderness moniker is trying to earn the same cult status as the sports-oriented Subaru STIs. The Forester is heralded as the main driving force of the new range. The crossover offers 9.2 inches of ground clearance, improves its breakover angle to 21 degrees, and gets longer dampers and taller springs on the four-wheel independent suspension. You will recognize this off-roader through a unique Gazer blue paint, exclusive 17-inch matte black alloys, thicker cladding, a front skid plate, and an all-train Yokohama Geolander tires. To give the driver more confidence during climbs and ascents, the Forester Wilderness gets a wider gear ratio for the CVT that imitates an 8-speed transmission. The 182-horsepower 2.5-liter flat 4 is the only engine option and delivers the same 176 pound-feet of twist. Lastly, like any other Forester, this one debuts the fourth-generation Super EyeSight and sports a dual-screen dashboard with the front and rear camera views. Toyota Land Cruiser The Land Cruiser is Toyota's longest-running moniker that has been continuously produced since 1951. Despite the initial fears, it remains a legitimate body-on-frame SUV that benefits from the move to the FTNG platform. Codenamed G300, the model weighs almost 450 pounds less, sports a rear-limited slip diff, offers improved kinetic dynamic suspension with the optional electronic controls, and finally adopts modern tech like multi-train select and monitor. The SUV also promises a lower center of gravity, boxier exterior with a high-mounted LED headlights and three trim-specific grille designs. Under its foot resides a new 3.5-liter twin-turbo V6 or a 3.3-liter turbo diesel, both with a 10-speed direct shift automatic. This behemoth is available in 5- and 7-seat layouts. Both of them get all-new interiors, dash layout, and a widescreen infotainment. Unfortunately, the cruiser has been sold out to deep into the 2022 model here, especially its first GR Sport modification with the full-on off-road spirit. Lexus GX and GX Blackline Special Edition It's not 2030 yet, so do not expect the young 12-year-old GX to go through a generational update in 2022. However, for now this Lexus will boost its appeal with the new Blackline Edition that features an exclusive Nori Green exterior. The other two distinctive body colors are Starfire Pearl and Black Onyx, plus the SUV Sports rugged roof rails, with available crossbars, more striking black grille surround, and new 18-inch six-spoke alloy wheels with gloss black finish. The rest of the changes are concentrated on the inside. All the 2022 GXs get a revised interior layout to accommodate a new 10.2-inch infotainment that gets Apple, Android, and Alexa integration. Furthermore, the black line offers a black and gray new lux trimmed cabin with gray stitching and an open pore ashwood trim. Nissan Armada Thoroughly revised in the middle of 2021, this three-row behemoth offers a fresher exterior, more high-end interior, and a boosted V8 engine. Up front, it can be recognized by the new V-Motion grille with a massive chrome frame and boomerang-shaped LED headlights that look sharper and more aggressive. The rear of the Armada also scores redesigned lights, plus both ends boast a newly created Nissan logo that debuted on the Aria. The only drivetrain combo is a 5.6-liter V8, a 7-speed automatic, and either rear or all-wheel drive. On the premium fuel, the mill makes 400 horsepower and 413 pound-feet, 10 horses and 19 pound-feet more than the previous model. Every Armada can tow as much as 8,500 pounds, while on the inside you get better soundproofing, revamped styling, and a 12.3-inch infotainment with Wi-Fi and Apple CarPlay right from the base trim. Toyota 4Runner and TRD Sport 
Sales numbers indicate that the Forerunner buyer does not really want this SUV to evolve. So in 2022, Toyota only slightly refreshes this aging midsize through the extension of its standard features list and the addition of an all-new variant to the range. Every entry-level Forerunner now comes with more safety technology, including LED headlights and fog lamps, blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert, and adaptive cruise control. The biggest piece of news, however, is the addition of a new TRD Sport trim slotted below the SR5 Premium. This pavement-oriented version offers standard Toyota's hydraulically linked adaptive dampers, bigger 20-inch wheels with dark grey accents, and a TRD hood scope. As for the mechanical front, everything remains the same. The only option is a 4.0-liter V6 producing 270 horsepower and 278 pound-feet of torque. Subaru Outback Wilderness The Outback has always occupied a grey area between a family station wagon and a compact crossover. However, the new Wilderness Edition puts an end to this ambiguity by transforming the model into a rugged, off-road ready SUV. The newcomer gets extra cladding, redesigned bumpers on both ends, and a front skid plate, while its ground clearance increases to 9.5 inches. Further stylistic changes include black exterior trim, anodized copper accents, and 17-inch gloss black wheels wrapped into Yokohama Geolander all-terrain tires. The 700 pounds rated roof rack and hexagonal LED fog lights are also exclusive to the Wilderness model. As usual, the Soundback is motivated by the turbocharged 2.4-liter flat 4 boxer with 260 horses. It is mated to the symmetrical all-wheel drive now with a dual-function X mode featuring settings for the deep snow, sand, and mud. Finally, besides the outside protection, the Outback Wilderness gets StarTax water repellent upholstery with a textured honeycomb design and embossed headdress. Make sure to rate the lineup of the Japanese off-road SUVs in the comment section below and like this episode. We'll be posting more informative releases about the 2022 car lineups, so subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News not to miss them. For now, you can start exploring our playlists by following the links on the screen. We'll see you soon.